We can easily convert expressions from radical to exponential form and from exponential form to radical form. You probably recall that the square root of x can also be written as x to the power of one half. The square root of x is in radical form and x to the power of one half is in exponential form. The two forms have exactly the same value. Here's a general equation we can use for converting back and forth from radical to exponential forms. n represents the index of the radical. You can see it's the denominator of the exponent in the exponential form. And m represents the exponent of x. You can see it's the numerator of the exponent in the exponential form. Let's do a couple of examples. We're asked to convert the fourth root of x to the fifth to exponential form. We see that 4 is the index and 5 is the exponent of x. So in exponential form, 5 is the numerator of the exponent and the index 4 is the denominator of the exponent. Here's the full solution to this problem. If you like, pause the video and review the steps yourself. In the second example, we're asked to convert a to the 1 third, b to the 7 halves, to radical form. 3 is the index of a, and 2 is the index of b. 1 is the exponent of a, and 7 is the exponent of b. a to the power 1 third equals the cube root of a, and b to the power 7 halves equals the square root of b to the 7th. Here's the full solution to this example. If you like, pause the video and review the steps yourself. Remember, a number or variable with a negative exponent is the same as its reciprocal with a positive exponent. Here's an example. We're asked to convert x to the negative one quarter to radical form. x to the negative one quarter is the reciprocal of x to the positive one quarter, or 1 over x to the one quarter. An x to the one quarter can be converted to the radical the fourth root of x. So here's the entire solution to this problem. If you like, pause the video and review the steps yourself. Let's do another example. We're asked to convert 1 over y to the negative 2 thirds to radical form. 1 over y to the negative 2 thirds is the same as y to the positive 2 thirds. And y to the positive 2 thirds can be converted to the cube root of y squared. 3 is the index and 2 is the exponent of y. So here's the full solution to this problem. If you like, pause the video and review the steps yourself. In this example, we're asked to express 1 over the cube root of a to the 7th in exponential form. We'll assume that a is not equal to 0 to avoid having a 0 in the denominator. The cube root of a to the 7th can be converted to a to the power of 7 over 3 and 1 over a to the 7 thirds is the same as a to the negative 7 thirds. Here's the full solution for this example. If you like, pause the video and review the steps yourself. As you'll see, converting back and forth from radical to exponential forms is a very useful skill to have.